and welcome to this video by Intellipart. Have you ever thought that Google is not just a search engine but so much more? It offers many services like cloud computing and etc. But today we will talk about one of its services called APG and what goes around in its API management. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Now let's take a look at the agenda. Firstly, we will see what is an API. Moving further, we will see the purpose of an API. After which, we will see what exactly is a PG. Then, we will see some of the APG terminology. Then, we have some APG capabilities. Moving further, we have API and API proxy with respect to APG. Lastly, we will see what is APG API management and how can it help you. Now let's see our first agenda that is what is an API. So an API is an interface that facilitates the consumption of features or data from one application by another. APIs allow developers to quickly access and reuse application logic created by other developers by creating stable, streamlined entry points to application logic and data. The logic and information are made available through the network in the case of web APIs. Now moving forward to our next agenda that is the purpose of an API. The seamless and safe data transfer between two apps is made possible via APIs which simplify the software development process. Additionally, it enhances the functional communication between two applications. In essence, APIs allow two apps to communicate with one another and pass data between them. Now let's examine a few API examples. First one is registering with Facebook. You can frequently choose to log in with your Facebook account on websites. It indicates that the website makes use of the Facebook login API to integrate its product and allow consumers to avoid the registration process. Next one is paid to third parties frequently. You can see PayPal, Apple Pay or Google Pay payment options. This indicates that these services are integrated into the payment system through an API. Now we will move on to our next agenda that is what is APG. It is a platform for creating and managing APIs. APG front services with a proxy layer to offer security, rate limitation, quotas, analytics and other features for your back-end service APIs. Let's take a look at some of the terminology. Firstly, we have Google Cloud Projects. All Google Cloud services such as managing APIs, enabling billing, adding and removing collaborators and controlling permissions for Google Cloud resources are created, enabled and used using Google Cloud projects. Before you can develop and provision an APG organization, you first need to construct a Google Cloud project. Next one is provisioning. Installing and setting up APG are done through the provisioning procedure. Next one is organization. In your Google Cloud project, an organization is a container for all things connected to APG, including API proxies, services, and the resources required to support them. During provisioning, your organization is created. Fourth one is environment. A runtime execution context or isolated software environment within an organization where APG is used to build and deploy API proxies is known as an APG environment. Moving on, the fifth one is called the environment group. A collection of APG environments with a single host name is known as an environment group. Any environment in the environment group's environment can be accessed by using the host name to use API proxies. Next one is API proxy. Incoming requests are routed through an API proxy to the backend services it offers. Every request that comes in and every answer that leaves the backend is handled by the proxy using policies. Seventh terminology that we are going to discuss is called instance. A deployment of the APG software is known as an APG instance. During provisioning, you create one instance and you can later add more instances. Now, there can only be one APG instance per Google Cloud area where instances correspond to geographic regions. And lastly, we have policy. A policy is a processing stage that an API proxy does. Many pre-filled rules are offered by APG to carry out various API operations, such as changing message formats or implementing access control. 
Next, we'll talk about the APG capabilities. Let's take a look at the first one. A developer portal to draw in and keep application developers, allowing them to find, investigate, buy, test, and register for use of APIs, hence opening the door to collaboration. Next is safe, trustworthy, and flexible communications to protect and manage traffic between clients and backends, as well as between organizations' APIs and the programmers, clients, partners, and staff who utilize those APIs. Managing the designing, creating, publishing, deploying, and versioning of APIs with API lifecycle management. To assist both offline analysis and real-time troubleshooting, API auditing, logging, and analytics are used. Lastly, API monetization enables API providers to package, charge for, and publish their APIs so that collaborators and developers can pay for access or share in income. Let's move on to our next agenda now, that is understanding APIs and API proxies with respect to APG. Now you can quickly and easily create RESTful APIs using APG that app developers can use. Building API proxies which serve as controlled facades for backend services allows you to expose APIs on APG. Now let's try to understand APIs with respect to APG. You may create APIs using APG and if you already have them, directly expose them while incorporating a management and visibility layer. You can also provide HTTP enabled services using APG as APIs such as SOA-based web services. Without using a backend service, APG also enables you to develop apps hosted on the API services platform. These applications can be created in Java and as well as JavaScript. Now let us see what is an API proxy. By using API proxies, you can expose APIs on APG. API proxies isolate your backend services from your app-facing API, protecting those apps from changes to the backend code. Apps continue to call the same API unabated as you make backend adjustments to your services. Now there are two sorts of endpoints that can be configured in an API proxy. First one is proxy endpoint and the next one is target endpoint. Let's see how to create an API proxy. The first step is creating an API proxy using the APG UI in a graphical user interface. Next is Creating the XML files that specify your API proxy, importing them into APG, and adding any other supporting files. Thirdly, performing a sequence of REST queries to APG in order to construct your API proxies using the APG API. Lastly, create an archive when working locally with APG on Visual Studio Code. Let's check out our last agenda, that is, what is a PG API management and how can it help you? So the processes of distributing, regulating and analyzing the APIs that connect applications and data across the company and across clouds are referred to as API management. In order to verify that the requirements of the developers and apps using the APIs are satisfied, API management enables companies that design APIs or use others' APIs to keep an eye on the activity. In order to be able to adapt quickly to changes in client needs, organizations are putting systems in place to manage their APIs. Most often, these businesses use a microservices architecture to accelerate software development and satisfy synchronous communication amongst microservice architectures. Is now HTTP-based APIs. These APIs serve as the connecting thread between each microservice. You can design, evaluate, mediate, and manage APIs using an API management platform in a safe and scalable environment. When you can't measure, you can't manage. The standard of comprehending the nervous system of digitization is set by APG. And that is it for this video. Thank you. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.